is a metal that has been around since the history of time, as the scene of trading in silver coins appears in the Old Testament. But its use was less valuable than that of gold. This is because the amount of natural silver produced was less than that of natural gold, and it requires extra and much refining. Since the main source of silver in ancient time was galena, it's often found with lead in ancient ruins. It was also found in archaeological sites such as Egypt and Mesopotamia around 3000 BC. At this time, silver was considered to be nobler than gold. Old records of silver coins include those of Kingdom of Lydia in the 7th century BC, which is in Greek. Moreover, it's said that silver was inherited by Rome. While silver production has increased since Attica around the 5th century BC, and silverware was prized and treated with great care during the Roman period. Fascinating, right? But have you ever wondered how silver is made? Hey guys, welcome to another informative video from our channel, How's It Made? In this video, we take you through how the silver is made. But before jumping into the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel. Also, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload a new video. That said, let's begin. Significance of Silver Silver was widely used in crafts, but in Europe, silverware as tableware is specially respected, and British silverware is famous artistically. It has been used for a long time in India, and it's known that there was already a store dealing in silverware and silver ingots in China around the time of Tang and Song. However, while gold symbolizes the sun, silver is associated with a crescent moon because of its color, worshipped as the goddess of the moon, and revered in medieval alchemy. Meanwhile, like the global trend, silver was not used as much as gold from ancient times to the Middle Ages. Precisely, silver mines were developed in various places during the Muromachi period, and their production value increased sharply. Origin of the name Silver The element symbol AG for silver is taken from the Latin word argenta, meaning white, which comes from argos, and the French word argent is also derived from Latin, whereas the German word silver is said to have come from the Assyrian word sarpu, which means silver. Existence of Silver The abundance of silver elements is very small. In addition to being naturally produced as natural silver, it's mainly produced in the form of sulfite. The main minerals are argentite, brittle silver ore, antimony sulfur ore, and chlorargyrite. It's also contained in some ores such as copper, lead, and zinc, and a considerable amount is obtained as a byproduct when refining these metals. The world's largest producers are Mexico, Peru, Australia, the United States, and China, which account of the world's gross domestic products. Making of Silver Manufacturing Method Refining from silver containing ore includes the mixing method, cyanidation method, and dry method. But the mixing method is not often used. Cyanidation method, natural silver, silver chloride, relatively pure silver sulfide, etc. are used as raw materials. Generally, there are many impurities in the raw material ore, and the collection rate is not good. Therefore, it's crushed as finely as possible. The concentration of cyanide solution is increased 0.3 to 0.5%. The leaching time is lengthened by sufficiently stirring, and oxygen is taken in to increase the yield 80 to 90 percent. Since the cost of refining is higher than that of gold, independent silver refining is rarely performed, and it's refined together with gold. The dry method is the same as in the case of gold when smelting copper and lead, smelting by adding silicate of gold ore as a melt to copper and lead ore, and taking out with copper and lead at the end. Purification method. The crude silver obtained as described earlier is purified by electrolytic refining. There are several silver electrolysis methods, but in each case, a silver nitrate solution containing nitric acid is used as the electrolytic solution. The electrodes hang the positive and negative electrodes alternately. In the meantime, silver may develop into a dendritic shape in short circuit, so attach a device to scrape it off and put it in a cotton or muslin bag to electrolyze it to prevent contamination of the electro-deposited silver. The obtained silver is collected and melted to obtain electric silver. Purity is usually 99.99% .99 or higher. Nature of Silver To be precise, silver has the second largest malleability and ductibility after gold and can make foil with a thickness of 0 0.0015 millimeters. Also, one gram of silver can be an 1800 meter line. When melted, it occludes a large amount of oxygen in the air and releases it violently during solidification. The thermal and electrical conductivity is the highest among metals. It's stable to water and oxygen but becomes black silver oxide AgO, with ozone and black silver sulfide Ag2S with silver and hydrogen sulfide. It doesn't react to hydrogen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, etc. even at high temperatures, but it's attacked by halogens. It dissolves in nitric acid and hot sulfuric acid 
and become silver nitrate and silver sulfate, respectively. It's insoluble in alkali but soluble in melted sodium hydroxide in the presence of air. The oxidation numbers of ordinary compounds are 1 and 2, and some of them are 3. Use of silver Silver is a good conductor of electricity and heat and has a wide range of uses as a metal material due to its good workability and mechanical properties. Currently, more than 70% of the world's gross domestic product is used for industrial purposes and the rest is used for money. The Cultural History of Silver In the history of human culture, just silver is said to be the most second most valuable metal after gold. Silver, like gold, has greater aesthetic value than economic ones but has also been valued as a currency material for various decorations and accessories. Due to its luster, the term silver in many languages means white shining metal. Silver is also said to symbolize pureness and innocence, and in Catholic churches, religious ceremonial equipment and bells are made of silver. And in contrast to the connection between gold and the sun, silver was thought to be associated with the moon, and it was thought that silver would grow under the influence of the moon. The association between silver and the moon was already common throughout the ancient Near Eastern world, and the Egyptian moon goddess Hater was made the goddess of silver. On the other hand, it was said that the bones of the gods, including the sun god Ra, are made of silver. In Greek mythology, gold belongs to the sun god Apollo, while silver belongs to the moon goddess Artemis. This goddess is said to ride in a silver chariot drawn by Hakuba, run in the night sky, draw a silver bow, and shoot a silver arrow of light. And alchemists in medieval Europe called silver the moon goddess Luna or Diana and made the Ubari moon a symbol of silver. Among them, silver in contrast to gold meant the human spirit to the spirit of God, the woman to man. Even in European folk beliefs, silver is associated with the moon, and if you put a silver coin in your pocket at the time of the new moon, you'll be lucky enough to double it. Also, silver weapons and bullets are superior to steel ones and have supernatural powers never fail to kill the opponent and there's no defense against it, and it was believed to be the most effective when fighting witches, etc. There are many beliefs that silver amulets have the power to prevent evil spirits and magic, and in China, silver rockets are worn to prevent evil spirits. Among the mountainous people from southern China to Southeast Asia, silver jewelry is preferred, especially women's traditional costumes. For example, in the case of the Yao people, square silver plates are used to match the left and right sides of the jacket, and in the Uchikaki-like one, silver studs are studded, and in the meantime, the embroidery is applied to the entire surface. In addition, you can wear ring-shaped earrings, silver cords or strings wrapped around the turban, multiple collars and earrings, and necklaces made by knitting silver cords. These silver products have a decorative and magical effect, mark the characteristics of the race by the form of the jewelry and the design engraved on it, and have the function of economically saving money. Among them, silver is more valuable than gold. Even in ancient Egypt, it's said that silver was worth more than gold because of its rarity. Silver mining like gold can be accompanied by various taboos, including a ritual to the god who controls the mine. That's it guys! Let us know if you found this video informative in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. See you in the next video!